In 1888, 26-year-old George Vanderbilt, son of William Henry and Maria Kissam Vanderbilt, grandson of Cornelius Vanderbilt, visited these mountains for the first time. He fell in love with this part of Western North Carolina. He soon acquired 125,000 acres of woodland. It was here he built his dream home, which he named Biltmore. The word Biltmore is a made up word, combining Bilt, George's ancestral Dutch surname, and Moore, meaning rolling open land. Finished in 1895, it is an architectural wonder. The house is 175,000 square feet with 35 bedrooms and 46 bathrooms. Every bathroom has a toilet, bathtub and shower, but none have a faucet and a sink. Sinks were ceramic bowls and had a water pitcher placed in the bedroom, as was typical in that era. This beautiful pipe organ is not the original one to the home. The original organ was donated to All Souls Church in Biltmore Village shortly after it was installed. This one was donated to the estate in 1998. The organ loft sat empty for nearly a hundred years. These Flemish tapestries are from the 1500s. The ceilings in the banquet hall are 70 feet high. Nearly every room has a butler's pantry call button. This is the breakfast room. The walls here are covered in Spanish leather and it has a Wedgwood Jasperware fireplace. Right outside the breakfast room is this sitting room, which, believe it or not, was not finished during the time the family lived here. It had velvet curtains hiding the unfinished room from the view of any guests. Another unfinished room was this music room. During World War II, this empty unfinished room was a safe haven to priceless pieces of treasured art from the National Gallery of Art. 62 paintings and 17 sculptures were kept here from 1942 to 1944 in case of an enemy attack on Washington. This is the tapestry room, which served as a social gathering room and most importantly, a room to showcase these European tapestries which are priceless. This room served as Hannibal Lecter's bedroom in the sequel to Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal. It was filmed here in 2001. Probably the most cherished room to George Vanderbilt was his library. It held over 10,000 of his books. This ceiling is actually a large painting. Giovanni Pellegrini's The Chariot of Aurora, painted in the 1720s and once graced the ceiling in a Venetian palace. I hope you enjoyed part one of The Secrets of Biltmore. Look for part two soon. Thank you.